Hello, good morning and welcome. It's the 25th of July, just after 7 o'clock, and uh, we'll start as ever <clears throat> with a New Zealand USD. Uh, we are, we're expecting a little bit of a rally in the uh, in the dollar, uh, US dollar, um, after the uh, the Fed meeting on Wednesday. Um, if we don't get an interest rate hike, which we might not, uh, they're uh, they're talking about trimming the balance sheet, which basically has the same effect. It gives more strength to the US dollar. So uh, that'll be something to look forward to. Uh, Right, this week we've had uh, 5,000 more shorts added to the New Zealand dollar. Uh, the short ratio is now 7.3 to 1. Um, this seems to be topping out about where it is at the moment. Uh, 74, let's put that as 74,680. Um, <clears throat> that should put um, resistance up just above it. Um, we've gone above uh, 69.1 on the RSI and we are just looking like we're coming back down. Uh, this is um, this is a, a very good uh, short, I, I believe. Um, it, it's had uh, about 600 pips to the upside. Um, it looks like it's going to break down. Um, the the short ratio is very large on the commitment of traders, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh, USD CAD. <clears throat> um, this has got to break up. It really has. Um, we'll see what happens on Wednesday, but uh, this is still making uh, red candles on the way down. So um, uh, I'm looking for a break in the uh, trend line on the RSI. Yeah, and um, this is well below. Uh, this is about 19. So it's below the 20 on the uh, on the RSI. Uh, that's a really good solid short down there. So um, the upside should should be pretty good. USD Japanese Yen. Uh, I'm about at entry at the moment. Uh, my trade is just underneath the the line where the uh, where we. Um, where we're trading at at the moment. Uh, we've gone through um, the support and uh, we're heading down. So that, that is uh, just uh, strength of the Japanese yen rather than uh, weakness of the dollar. So um, <clears throat> we'll see how that goes on Wednesday. So if this goes into profit, I'm going to put my stop uh, just behind it. Uh, USD Mexican peso. Uh, we've had two nice green candles. Um, I hope this is going to continue. Uh, the Wednesday, the Fed should help a little bit as well. So uh, we are looking for this to, to uh, long. Uh, it's got a long ratio of 2.83 to 1. Now this is, um, <clears throat> this is an extreme position um, on, on the commitment of traders because it has been a short for such a long time um, so uh, that is an extreme position and we're looking for this pair to, to long. Euro British Pound um, we've had a really large rally in this uh, as with all Euro pairs um, the, uh, the Euro is going to break to the downside um, we've got a divergence of 2.93 to 1 which isn't um, excessive uh, this is not one of my favorite pairs to trade. I have a very small trade in it uh, down here um, <clears throat> But this this should short through um, Might take a, a couple of weeks, but we're looking for weakness in the euro and strength in the pound uh, The pound against the New Zealand dollar again, I've got a couple of small trades in this uh, the divergence on it <clears throat> Because of the uh, the uh, the ratio on the uh, New Zealand dollar is about seven, and uh, the the ratio on the uh, British pound is one point four. So we're actually looking on this uh, more for weakness in the uh, in the New Zealand dollar, <coughs> and uh, we believe this pair is going along. Um, it, it has had a little bit of a drop uh the last week 
but um, we're looking for a bit of strength to come through now. Out of Japanese yen, this is probably the best trade that I've got on this board. Uh, I've got um, other trades that I'm doing in the members center, uh, which are looking quite good. I've just actually entered silver. Uh, I think that's looking uh, good for a short back down, especially uh, if we get some decent Fed news on Wednesday. Uh, but this, <coughs> the our Japanese yen, the short, uh, the, um, the the divergence between the shorts on the AUD and the Japanese yen against the dollar in the commitment of traders is 11.2 to 1. Uh, we've uh, last couple of days we've had green candles. We we did have this nice big red candle here. I've got my trading up the top there, and I've got uh, a stop uh, just in profit. So um, we are actually just below the 69.1, which is at the very worst sideways movement. Uh, if I get knocked out, I'll be looking to get back in. This, this should be a great trade uh, to the downside. There, there is um, quite a way to fall, <clears throat> and I think it's going to come all the way down. That's about 700 pips all the way down. That should be nice. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for the likes and subscriptions, much appreciated. And uh, we'll um, see you all tomorrow, I, I hope. Thank you, bye now.